This video is about to review for geometry of a linear function. The line L1 has equation 2y minus x minus 7 equals to 0, and is shown on the diagram. The point A has coordinates 1, 4, show that A lies on L1. How to decide a point is on a line? You need to plug in. So we do 2 times 4 minus 1 minus 7 equals to 0. Because this is x, here's y. Here's the two marks. If you do this equation, this you will get the one mark. You have to repeat this. So a lines on L1. Then you can get a second mark. So when you do the IB exam, you have to learn how you can get the full mark if you know how to do these uh, questions. Especially when you say show that, you have to repeat. Go to 4b. The point C has coordinates 5, 12. M is the midpoint of AC. Find the coordinates of uh, M. Let's find uh, A and uh, C. So we draw M on the line. This is A. 1, 4. How you locate this C? You have to decide if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have to check uh, the point. Is it above L1 or is it below L1? How you check that? You need to plug in. So we plug in this 5 into this uh, equation. You will get 2y minus 5 minus 7 equals to 0. So we have 2y equals 12. So we have uh, y equals uh, 6. This point will be 5, 6. Therefore, for 5, 12, it will be here. C. 5, 12. Then you need to connect this AC. And the point M is the midpoint. For the IB exam, the formula for the midpoint is given. You can label here as x1, y1, x2, y2. Therefore, for the Coordinates for this midpoint, uh, you will get the 1 plus 5 over 2 and uh, 4 plus 12 over 2. That is uh, 3, 8. So we label here the 3, 8. Let's go to, for C, find the length of AC. This is the formula for distance if you are given two points. So we do d equals square root. You will have 1 minus 5 square plus 4 minus 12 square. You can leave as the square root of 80, or you can do change into a decimal, that will be 8.944.27. You can do the dot, 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 which means uh, this is the accurate answer from a graphing calculator. Or you can write down three significant digits, that will be 8.94. So when you take a IB exam, you can write down accurate answer like this, or the accurate answer from graphing calculator. Or you can do three significant digits, 
Now let's go to 4D. The straight line L2 is perpendicular to AC. And a pass it through M. Show that the equation of L2 is this. So we draw a perpendicular line to AC. We label as L2. For this L2, you will figure out the slope by giving information that the L2 is perpendicular to AC. And also, since this line passed through this uh, point, we got to use uh, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 to find the equation. Then you need to change uh, this uh, form. First of all, we need to figure out the slope of uh, AC. The formula is given in IB exam. So we do 12 minus 4, 5 minus 1 equals 2. As we know, if L1 perpendicular to L2, then the slope for L1 multiplied by the slope L2 equals negative 1. In other words, your slope for L2 equals negative 1 over slope L1. This is what we're talking about. It's an opposite. That's for negative 1. 1 over, it will be reciprocal. But for the perpendicular line, you have to remember this is the rule for perpendicular line. When they ask you give a reason to decide whether these two lines are perpendicular or not, you got to say, oh, these two slope multiplication is it equal to negative one. So we can figure out the slope for L2 equals negative one over two. Since you are given the point uh, three, eight is on the line of uh, L2. So we label this as uh, x1, y1. Therefore, you will get the y minus 8 equals negative 1 half x minus 3. Then we change into this uh, form. First of all, get rid of this 2 by doing multiply by 2 on the left side. Then do distributive property. For this side, you have to do negative 1, do the distributive property. You will get 2y minus 16 equals negative x plus 3. Then you need to move everything to the left side. When you cross this equal sign, change sign. So we have 2y plus x minus 16 minus 3 equals to 0. Organize 2y plus x minus 19 equals to 0. This will be your answer. Go to 4 e. The point D is the intersection of L1 and L2. Find the coordinates of D. You are given the equation for L1 that is 2y minus x minus 7 equals to 0. For L2, that is 2y plus x minus 19 equals to 0. There are so many ways to solve this system equation. I already made a video for using graphing and uh, matrix to solve this uh, system equation. In this video, I will show you the algebraic way to solve this uh, system equation. Since we have negative x, positive x, we just add this equation. You will get the 4y minus uh, 26 equals to 0. This will be the zero. So we have a y equals 26 over 4. That will be 6.5. Then you plug in 
one of、uh, these two equations, I choose the first one. So we have two times six point five minus x minus seven equals to zero. Thirteen minus x minus seven equals to zero. I will move x to the right side. You will get thirteen minus seven will be six. Therefore, coordinate for this d will be six six point five. For for f, the length of M D is square root of forty five over two. Write down the length of M D correct to the five significant figures. When you put into graphing calculator, you will get three point three five four one zero. One five significant figures you count from、uh, left side one two three four five. Then for this one, you decide it's round up or round down. Since this is a、uh, less than five, so round down, you will get three point three five four one. This will be the five significant figures. Now let's go to the four G. The point B. It's such that A B C D is a rhombus. Find the area of、uh, A B C D. So we see this is a B. We connect. You will get、uh, this point is D. A B C D is a rhombus. We know. This is a right angle. If we are looking for the area of this rhombus. We can divide this rhombus into two triangles. Check here. This is a one triangle. Then you multiply by two, you will get the area of a rhombus. So we get the area of a triangle ABC. Equals one half base will be AC times、uh, BM. The reason I choose、uh, area ABC because AC is given. We already figured that out. That is a、uh, one half times eight point nine four. BM will be MD. That is a square root of forty-five over two equals fifteen. Therefore, for the area of this rhombus will be two times fifteen equals thirty.